Hello everyone, this is Juan from CanHub and welcome to another anatomy tutorial where I'm going to be covering the neurovasculature of the hip and thigh. So on this tutorial, what we're going to be doing is describing or looking at your hip and thigh like you see here on this image. We're looking at them from an interior view on this particular image. And we're going to be describing the different arteries veins and nerves or the main arteries veins and nerves that you find on your hip and thigh and before we do so i would like to start off then with the first one on the list the arteries that are now seen here isolated on the image on the right side and before we talk about them in a little bit more detail, I would like to then list these structures. Now, in terms of arteries, we're going to be talking about the lateral and medial femoral circumflex arteries, the descending genicular artery, the femoral and deep femoral arteries, and the inferior and superior gluteal arteries. We're going to start off with uh, the main artery of the hip and thigh, specifically the thigh, this one that you see here highlighted in green. And keep in mind that we are looking at the interior view of the hip. And also, you know, notice here the thigh bone or the femur. And notice then uh, this structure here highlighted in green, which is the artery that we're going to be describing now, the femoral artery. The femoral artery is the biggest and most important artery of the leg. It is the continuation of another one known as the external iliac artery, which in turn is the continuation of an important structure or important artery in your body, the most important one known as the aorta. Now, also important to add here about the femoral artery is that it will become the femoral artery once it crosses uh, the this ligament that you see partially here, the inguinal ligament, and then it becomes the femoral artery, as you see here highlighted in green. Now, as I mentioned just now, when it exits the pelvis through the vascular lacuna, it runs down to or towards the popliteal fossa, as you can see here, the artery just running down into the popliteal fossa and from there we're going to start calling it the popliteal artery during its course the femoral artery gives off several branches which we will be talking about some of them here on this tutorial let's start with the first one that you see now highlighted in green and now you have a broader view of the femoral artery here remember that we just talked about before we're still looking at it from an interior view you also see here the inguinal ligament, and then once it crosses the inguinal ligament towards the thigh, then it becomes the femoral artery. This video is not over yet. Continue watching now the full video at kenhub.com. We have lots more videos like this one available to our premium members on our website, not to mention all the fun quizzes, related articles, and atlas sections. So click on the button in the middle to watch the full-length video and master anatomy.